What up, it's your boy Jones and Man, and tonight we're Jones and on Broken Barrels, California Oaks, Dave. I All right, so this is something a little bit different, and I believe I, I, I needed, I should have done a little bit more research on it, but I believe. I believe I've understood it correctly. Y'all in the comments, keep me honest in case I'm wrong. So this is Broken Barrel Whiskey Company. And I know specifically for this one, this is their California Oak. So this is Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey finished with Broken Barrel Stave. Hence the name Broken Barrel. So essentially what they do is they distill the, well, I, they, I think this is all sourced. <clears throat> um, and let me look real quick. Produced and bottled by Broken Barrel Whiskey Company, Owensburg, Kentucky. <clears throat> so I, I think it is a source juice. They then put it in a barrel and age it with actual oak staves. So, and in this case, this one is, uh, so the mash bill is 70% corn, 21% rye, 9% malted barley. And the oak is 80% Central Coast Cabernet and 20% New French Oak, which is pretty interesting. Um, I've seen some brands that would age the whiskey using staves or some sort of wood in the whiskey. That was the aging process. But I don't think I've ever seen someone put the whiskey in a barrel and age it in the barrel with the actual staves. So I, I think that's kind of cool. This comes in at 88 proof for 44% alcohol. Let's bust her open and see what she tastes like. Let's do what we do. Let's pop this baby open coming in at 88%. Here's what I love to share with all of you fantastic people. Sort of. Oh! Uh, I think I was saying that I'm not a big fan of wine finishing, port finishing normally. Not that I, I dislike it, but there's normally a, a element that I'm like, eh. But man, oh, I'll clear my nose out. Oh, that smells amazing. It is, it is fruity. It is bright. That's S. Uh, with it having, oh, there's a little bit of oak. There was a little bit of oak underneath there. I got it. I was, I was saying that I was expecting a lot more woodiness from the double wood of sorts, but nice legs on it. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that thing tears up well. Let's give her a taste. Okay. Go back, let me go back, let me go. I'm trying to explain that. Let me come back to it. Spice and pepper, root, root on the on the very, very roof of my mouth, um, tip of my tongue. Little bit of heat there, like a, a lot of bit of heat there, a lot more than I was expecting for 88. Um, I don't really see anything about an age statement here. Uh, I, I'm getting a lot of woodsy, oaky notes. Um, yeah, let's put it on ice, put it on ice, spin it around, spin it around on the ice a little bit, see what we're working with. You know, my initial thoughts is, man, it's really spicy, um, like peppery all on the top. That fruitiness is there, it just doesn't come through as much as it does on the nose. Opens up a lot on the ice, so a couple of water drops, a couple of droplets of water will probably give you pretty much the same effect. It's, it's very spicy though. Um, not a bad pour. Not something that I really like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to this a couple times just to see if the spiciness tones down. Y'all hear me say quite often that my my spectrum is 
vanillas and caramels and the sweet flavors. And then the other end is pepper and cinnamon and and um uh, that 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 side of the fence. It's it's a lot more on that side than I personally normally like to drink. Um those spicy drinkers, my EC, my I mean Elijah Craig, my um freaking uh Will Willet drinkers. I think that this may be a more a little bit more up your alley in that aspect. It is it is a lot nicer on the rock. Hmm. Maybe if I sit with this for a while, especially on the rocks. Right now, I gotta say two five. Um yeah, I'm gonna say two five because I, I don't dislike it, but I don't love it. Um so I, will, I really wouldn't put this at a middle, middle of the pack pour for me. This would be a little like, I've tried some other expressions from them. Um, I think it was the barrel proof that we tried. I can't remember which one it was. But um, I would definitely reach for that one first over uh, the California oak. And it could be the wine influence that's kind of throwing me off. But um, 2.5. 2.5. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the Tiki Taki. Um, support your boy Jones and Man on all the endeavors that I might partake in. If you like a spicier, but maybe just a little bit of fruit in that, this is probably good for you. Um, I'll see you next time. Click them and drink them.